Welcome, uh, or welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about compassion, all right, compassion and self-compassion. Um, so whether it's compassion or self-compassion, um, it's an idea and a concept and a practice um, that I get a lot of resistance to in the office. Um, I think that our culture and our society, whether you're a man or a woman or however you identify, um, is one where um, compassion is looked at uh, through this lens of it being a weakness, it being something soft, it being something only for sensitive people or whatever it may be. Um, and I think that that is a massive misunderstanding. Um, and what current research is pointing to is that um, cultivating a practice of compassion and self-compassion um, really is one of the more powerful engines for motivation um, that we can cultivate. Um, so, um, I want to make that clear, right, that compassion is not something only for the sensitive and the flowery. Um, it, it's something for everyone, and it's something that, if practiced regularly, um, can really be the foundation for lasting change. Um, and so what compassion is, um, is compassion is just a, a suffering with, learning how to suffer and be with um, yourself, others. Right? And from this place of being kind and understanding with that suffering. I think that um, we like to avoid suffering. We like to avoid difficult emotion. Um, but if we can practice this approach um, to being more open to the full experience of our pain and difficulty through a compassion practice, um, we have a really strong um, understanding of what is. Right? And from that understanding of what is, uh, we can move towards a compassionate action that addresses um, the difficulty. Um, and so, yeah, it's really important to highlight that it's something that has to be cultivated. It's not something that many of us were born with. Um, and so practicing is really important. Um, and so that's a little bit about what compassion is. But what compassion is not is also uh, useful to talk about. All right? So compassion is not Self-compassion or compassion in general is not pity, right? It's um, that's something I often hear in the office is, well, I don't want to pity myself. I don't want someone to feel sorry for me. I don't want to feel sorry for myself. Um, and it's not pity. It's just understanding that the human experience is something that's difficult for all of us, regardless of what you're going through. Um, and then the other thing is that um, self-compassion is also not indulgent. Um, self-compassion doesn't mean you have to you know, be super easy on yourself and um, let go of the things of your disciplines and let go of the things that um, have led you to um, achieving certain aspects in your life. Um, compassion is really just an allowance um, for yourself to be human, to make mistakes, um, to learn from those mistakes, and to move towards uh, the value of um, suffering with yourself and with others, right? And from that foundation of suffering with, um, we can move forward with a strong understanding of what it is that you truly need. Um, so self-compassion is something that um, I can and we can talk about um, in the future if you'd like. It's something that can be very, very helpful um, for you on your therapeutic journey or you um, as far as development goes in general. Um, so reach out to me if you have any questions about self-compassion. Um, I'll be posting um, some things on the blog as far as self-compassion meditations um, that resonate with me and my practice. Um, and as always, take care. Um, I think I can help. And talk soon.